Okay, so here we are on the final configuration step of Autocraft. So I'm going to walk you through every different part of this sheet because there actually is a lot, lot of settings all in this one window. Okay, first question, file naming convention to use. Okay, so how do you want the student files to be named? So I'm going to, I want to call them Bill. So this is exactly what the student's name is, file name is going to be. So Bill Nye, the moon feedback. So the students know, okay, it was... Bill and I a video about the moon. This is the feedback. This is the results. You can have it results. You can have responses, however you want to name it. And one thing I've learned is that if you just name it this way, then you end up with a folder with all of these files, all that look exactly the same title. You go, whose is whose? How do I find that one students? So my recommendation is um, you can use these other tags, these dollar sign tags in the file name. So I'm going to actually call this dollar sign username or you could copy exactly what this says here control c paste it there control v so what this is going to do is it's it's the same thing as the bracketed tags it's going to give the file name as bill nye the moon feedback and it's going to include the student's name in the file title because that way i can glance through a folder and i can say oh that one is belongs to who so there we go so that's their username so next going now what kind of file do you want to create you can do a google doc or a pdf I recommend a Google Doc if you want the students to be able to edit it. PDF is just pretty much the same as if you wanted to just print it, printing it out. All right, so let's go to so the next step, email and or share merge documents. So yes, we want to make sure that we can share this document with a student. That's the whole point of why we're using Autocrat. So I'm gonna check mark that box. So now we have kind of, it looks like a little email window. So to who do we wanna send this to? And who do we want to send it to is the student. So we can add our control C, our dollar sign username. That's who that this document is going to go to. If you wanted to go to somebody else or if it was a, or another teacher or their parent or whoever you want to do it, if you had that as a different field, whoever you want to email this to, you can do that. Um, because our students don't have emails, you don't have to add subject or a message, but you can if you want to. Um, hey, here are your results from Bill Nye. Whatever you'd like to do, you can. If you just want to share the document, not worry about the email being sent, leave them blank. And then how do you want to include that merge document? Your choices are a view only Google Doc that they can just see, an editable one, one they can just comment, publicly viewable to anyone in the world, or as a PDF. Um, I'm going to recommend editable, but you can set it up however you want to do it. Same thing with can they share with other people? I say sure, it depends. You get to think about that. How do you want the students to? Do you want them to be able to edit it or not? Do you want them to just be able to view? So I'll just leave that as editable. So now if we scroll down, scroll down over here, advanced settings. So these are important. There are a few more advanced settings to do. So now click on the triangle. So conditional merge. So we'll only merge if this is true. So what I recommend with this is that currently Autocrat is going to run on your entire spreadsheet. And your spreadsheet might be a thousand rows long. So rather than having it sit there spinning its wheels going for every single row, we can add a code to say, how do I want it to only run if there's something in the timestamp column or something in one of the columns? As long as one of these has something in it, we want to be sure to run it. So the code to use is NOT NULL, all caps. So it's pretty much saying as long as that first column is not blank, go ahead and run. So if it's not, if it's not blank, it will run. So it's, it's a kind of lot, yeah, there, if you kind of mouse over it, it will pop up. Use NULL for empty, not NULL for not empty. So that's the, that might be the hardest part to kind of, the kind of the most technical thing you have to type here. Um, but yeah, timestamp equals not null, then it will only run on the rows where you have data. It'll skip everything else. Next one, destination folder. So where do we want to put all our answers? Because it's going to make a whole long list of all these documents. So I'm going to recommend you add a folder. And something I maybe forgot to do earlier is it works out a lot nicer if you already have made the folder. So what I might do is go back over to my Google Drive. So you, you don't have to worry about clicking off of this. Just open back on your other tab to your Google Drive. And I will create a new folder for Bill, oops, uh, Bill Nye Feedback Results. So this is just a brand new folder. For now, it's empty. And so that's where I want to stick all of their results are into this folder. So I go back to my spreadsheet, save my spot, and now I can say Add Folder. And oh, it was the most recent one I just made. So Bill Nye Feedback Results. And there it is. It'll think about it. Do I want to use that folder thinking? Okay, there it is. So it's going to take all the documents and stick it in that folder you just made. 
Um, secondary folder, you can if you want to play around with that. I haven't played around with it too much, but it could put things in subfolders. And then just so you know, two other options you do have. You can have it run automatically when a new form hit are submitted. So as soon as a student hits submit, it could automatically trigger AutoCraft to go. If you want to do that, you can. Or if you're, if you're doing it at the end of a test, after you've graded everything, then you don't need to have that on. But if you want to have people taking it during class and getting the results immediately, then sure, you could turn that on. Or you can have it a set time interval. So every day at noon or every day at midnight it runs. If you'd like to do that, you could. But for now, we don't need to have those. So we, the main things are we've told it what folder to go into. We said only run if the rows are blank. Um, we're making an editable document. It's being shared with the username of the student who completed the survey. And the file name will contain username. Once we have all of that, click Save. And it might take a little while to think. Think, 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 think. And once it's done, then we'll be ready to actually run it. And so I'm going to break it off and start with the next video with actually running Autocrat as soon as this loads so you can see what it looks like. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's where I named it. I named this Moon. That was the name I made up. It could have been gibberish. So that shows this is a merge job that could be working there. All right, for the next video, we will actually run.